Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in. So since we are aware, Fed raises rate half a point, biggest since 2000. And still, right, and still, even though this is the biggest interest rate hike since 2000, why are stocks, crypto market and also Asian market showing this really frally type of scenario? Because Fed has downplayed this bigger rate hike because investors were actually expecting more rate hike than this 0.5. But now the Federal Reserve, Jeremy Powell, had clearly stated that they are going to remain around this 0.5. So that did has positively impacted the market. So now has something changed in price action after this decision? Because we are seeing this really frally type of scenario playing out in price action of Bitcoin. If you look at this here in a daily time frame, you can see right now the area where we are getting this rejection is exactly at this 20 exponential moving average this green line you can see is lying around 39,600 and right now the price of bitcoin is sitting around 39,500 so if the daily manages to find support above this 20 exponential moving average this green line then the next possible target is going to be this red line which is 50 exponential moving average and this 50 exponential moving average is lying around 40,700 price area because we know right now this indicators here to the downside is also changing the direction because now this MACD has clearly flashed this bullish cross but RSI is still below 50 level and also the T2CCI in a negative territory so for an actual breakout the 20 exponential crossing of 50 exponential moving average 20 exponential crossing of 50 exponential moving average whenever this has happened then we have seen some really bullish price movement playing out in price action of Bitcoin so that's why if this is an actual breakout type of scenario then we have to find proper support above this 20 exponential moving average and also break out of this 50 exponential moving average which right now is lying around 40,000 700 price area because if you do that then we are aware the price of bitcoin is now clearly changing its train duration after the news what we heard from fed so now has the decision from fed completely changed the market structure because we know guys we the know price of bitcoin has already broken out of this falling wage right but for us it's very important that the price not just only break out of this falling wage but also break out of this key line of resistance which is being placed right now for bitcoin and for us right now the first key level area it's definitely around this 40,000, right? You can see because this same line has previously acted as a resistance. So around this 40,000 is where we want to find support. Because if you do that, then the next potential target is again going to be another key level of resistance, which is around 40,800. And our final target is going to be around 42,000 range. So if the price of Bitcoin somehow manages to break out of this 40,000 range, right, then we know we are also going to break out of this 20 exponential moving average. And then the next potential target is also exactly this 40,700, 40,800 price range. And this is also the exact area where this 50 exponential moving average is lying around. So that's why for us in a daily, the price of Bitcoin must break out of this 40,000 and find support above it. And not just only this one here, guys, if you also look at the price action of Bitcoin, using this cpi indicator according to the cpi indicator the price of bitcoin has re-entered above this cpi line and now since we are already above this bottom cpi line this is no more a vcpr the power of vcpr it always pulls the price towards this cpi line and only after reaching around the cpi line it chooses a trend duration and right now since the price of bitcoin is inside the cpi line the line which is the bottom line which is lying around 39,200 is definitely going to be one strong line of support for bitcoin if we are going to see any sort of a retracement at this current state so if we do manage to remain above this cpi line then there will be right there will be another attempt to break also out of this 20 exponential moving average around 39,600 and not just only this resistance guys not just only this resistance but also the resistance from this a sending channel because we know in a daily time frame this ascending channel has also been a very very strong line of resistance and support for bitcoin so each and every retracement on the lower line area after that we have found some really nice impulsive price movement because you can see when we had this bigger price retracement found support at this lower line area a very nice relief rally type of scenario where we also got attracted towards the top of this ascending channel and right now if you look at this price action you can see the price of bitcoin has not just only broken below this support line but now we are trying to re-enter above it so that's why guys you can see this forty thousand. 
the previous temporary race line is definitely going to be another important line of resistance for bitcoin so if you do manage to break this resistance around 40,000 and find proper support above it then guys then as i've already said you 40,800 is going to be our next potential target and after that 42,000 price area because we know guys we know this is an in channel the price will be re-entering above it and the same line which could be acting as a resistance could be acting as a support and after that the price of bitcoin could show some relief rally again towards the central of this ascending channel because we know guys yesterday I also included this double bottom type of formation that was actually being formed here in price action Bitcoin. So that's why I made it very, very clear. If the price of Bitcoin in a media short term is going to break out of this 38,500 resistance line, then the next potential target is around this 39,500, 39,600, right? And also breaking out of it, we could be heading towards this 42,000 range. And now if you look at this double bottom formation, right, it did play out very well. And if this retracement is going to happen here in the media short term, then you can see around this 39,000, we could be finding a very strong support. And this could also be a retest of this previous temporary resistance line. And if we do manage to stay above the 39,000, then you can see we could be also finding support at this bottom CPI line, right? And after that, the price of Bitcoin could show again another move in here to the upper duration and if that is going to happen then you can see guys let me add this Fibonacci extension line from this swing high sorry swing low till this swing high and price retracement towards this 39,000 area let's suppose around this area then you can see the 100% Fibonacci extension line will be around 41,500 so that's why we have to remain above this 40 sorry 39,000 if the price of bitcoin wants to continue this rally here to the upper duration because failing to find support at this 39,000 during the retracement right is clearly going to invalid this bullish scenarios what could be playing out right now and price again could be getting this rejection here right and continue this rally again towards the down duration because the same line which previously acted as a support could be acting as a resistance at this current stage so these are some of the interesting scenarios that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work then please hit the like button and also for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anoop bye bye